Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to our channel and today we're going to be making some French onion soup But not just any French onion soup. This is going to be the Panera bread copycat recipe and we're going to be making some homemade croutons with that as well Yes, I will link this recipe down below in the description box in case you guys want to make it We have made this before and it turned out really well. Yes. We're not experienced So <laughs> anybody should be able to make this it took us like four hours last time, but hopefully we're gonna be able to cut the time down. Um, we are doubling the recipe, but yeah, like I said, that will be linked down below for you all. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and please leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys wanna see in the future. Yes, we love taking your recommendations. Cooking videos were actually a recommendation, so we're giving it a go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see how this ends up. Let's get it. <laughs> The original recipe serves eight people, but we're gonna go ahead and double it. So I'm gonna run through the ingredients with you real quick. Butter. Yellow onions. Flour. Beef stock. Chicken broth. Thyme. Beef base. Gruyere cheese. What? <laughs> How do you say it? Gruyere. Gruyere. <laughs> okay, try again. Gruyere. Gruyere. Well, how do you say it? Oh my god. <laughs> Gruyere cheese. Asiago cheese. Aged. French baguette. For the doubled recipe, we have to chop up eight pounds of onions, so that's what we're gonna do first. We have nine pounds here, so we're just gonna leave a couple of onions out, but Jarvis is gonna start us off with some onion peeling, and then I'm gonna slice them, and then he's gonna dice them. People watching at home, I'm so sorry if this is like cringy. Cringy. These are gonna be some very <laughs> inconsistent onion cakes. We have our full bowl of onions here. This is eight pounds <laughs> of onions. Three hours later, <laughs> yeah. Um, so now we're gonna add oh this God, and nice. the butter to the pot. You need eight tablespoons of butter for the doubled recipe. You put a large pot on the stove over medium high heat. I made it pretty much high heat since last time we cooked it. We learned that we needed to turn up the heat higher in order for us not to be here for five hours. So um, I have it on high heat. Now we're gonna add the onions and the butter. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now we gotta get those onions in there quick. Right now? Yeah. No way, I'm gonna need something to put them in. Here. <laughs> we should have thought of this ahead of time. Yeah, no, it's okay, just, oh, you got just it? I'm just gonna. Oh, oh my, no. oh okay, my stop, god. Okay, stop, stop, what did you do? <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. Oh my. <laughs> hey! What? You just spilled. That wasn't me. No, it was me. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to like safety guard this. Watch your fingers on the hot. Oh my god. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. I gotcha, I gotcha. Alright. Well, let's clean this up. <laughs> okay, well, you can... Oh Hurry. my god. Uh, -uh. I need something. Right. Don't put it back in the pot. Okay, okay. So now it says to cook the onions for about 20 minutes or until they're golden brown. This is the part that took a lot longer than it said it would last time we cooked this. So that's why I have it on a higher heat. So I'm just gonna look until they're golden brown it's currently 8 30 so we'll check back in with you guys in a little bit but we have the butter and the onions in here so far just a little update on our onions it's been about 15 minutes or so they're still they don't even look like they're close to being golden brown um so i'm just gonna keep watching them and keep stirring them around but so far 
We're looking pretty good. The whole entire house smells like onions, so that's great. I also went ahead and added the salt in here as well. Since we're doubling the recipe, I went in with two teaspoons instead of one. All right, so while she's got the onions rolling in there for the next hour or so, <laughs> I'm gonna take care of the cheese. So we have Asiago and Gruyere. And I'm just gonna do the whole thing of this and half of this, I guess the Asiago is a little bit stronger than the Gruyere. So we'll see. Just use as much as you want, honestly. <laughs> All right, so with our doubled recipe, you're supposed to use half a cup of the Gruyere cheese and then two tablespoons of the Asiago, which is this one. Uh, but honestly, the more cheese, the better. <laughs> so just put as much as you'd like. I don't think it makes that big of a difference because it's gonna go like as a topping on top so you can control how much cheese you want in there. But that seems to be our blend of choice. All right, you guys don't have to add this if you don't want to, but this is a smoke rear that we have, and I think it just adds another dynamic <laughs> to the flavor. I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, we're gonna give this a shot. You can just put a little bit of this in it, and it'll be a little bit more smoked, so. Let's see. Mr. June, what are you doing under there? Hmm? June bug. Hi. Hey, Juno. Can you sit? Sit. You have cheese on your back. High five. <laughs> High five. Good boy. Junebug, look at me. Juno. High five. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. So my favorite part of the meal is actually the homemade croutons that go on top. And you're going to want to use day-old French bread. So we got this yesterday from Publix. And... We're basically just gonna cut it up into like, I'd say one inch by one inch cubes. So just start hacking at it. <laughs> you wanna make it so you can cover the top with the cheese and that. So let's see, we're just gonna like, boom, that's a crouton. Boom, that might be, be two croutons, another one. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be super precise because you're going to grill them up anyways. So it's been about 55 minutes and here's what our onions are looking like. I was filming Jarvis and I kind of forgot about them for a second so there's a little bit of a burnt layer on the bottom. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to not to scrape that. Um, but we're looking pretty golden brown now so um, I switched it to a low heat. Um, now I'm going to add in the flour, let it cook for about another minute or two until you start smelling pie crust is what the instructions say. And then we'll move on to adding the soup portion the broth Jarvis is getting out all the burnt pieces <laughs> <laughs> there's like tiny ones it's hard to grab them yeah, but it's fine like yeah yeah it's more than fine yeah I think I put too much butter in I accidentally quadrupled instead of doubled so <laughs> <laughs> that's why it looks so mushy anything with butter is okay though yeah too much butter is never an issue <laughs> So I've got our flour here. Um, I turned the stove on a low heat setting, so I'm just gonna add this in to the onions and then stir this for about a minute or so before we add in the broth. Looks like applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like applesauce. But French onion soup isn't a very like appealing food to begin with, you know? Like I feel like it's not like a super pretty food. So. Yeah. And that's the <laughs> so first food we decided to make. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and add the beef stock. So we're gonna add 64 ounces. So I've got two of these containers and I'm just kind of stirring as I add it. Ooh. We're kind of splashing a little bit. <laughs> oh gosh. Going in with number two. Then it calls for 30 ounces of chicken stock, but we have chicken broth, so that's what we're gonna use instead. 
Um, so Jarvis just measured the chicken broth out. Now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of thyme and two tablespoons of the beef base. There goes one. So we're actually adding four tablespoons of the beef base. This is thick, I need something to push it out. Just pop that in. If you're gonna make your own croutons at home, you're gonna need a pan like this. You're gonna need your bread chopped up into cubes. Then you're gonna add the bread to the pan with some butter, salt, pepper, garlic powder, or any other seasoning that you want. And then you just kind of toss them around until they become toasted. And then once they're ready to go, you can plop them on top of the soup. I just added a bunch of black pepper to the soup. I'm gonna definitely add more. I am obsessed with black pepper and French onion soup. I'd like go overboard with it, but I just love it so much. It makes it taste so much better. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I added some of that into here, but I'll definitely be adding more after. How's the bread coming along, Jarvis? Oh, I'm eating like half of it. So. What? <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming. Looks pretty good. All right, yeah, so you just wanna add the butter in there. You're gonna take your croutons and literally just make like a, a layer of them. Just fill it up. Some of the tinier ones are gonna be done early. I wanna try to have like the bread side down. But yeah, it's about half, right? Like, yeah, I would say about half. All right, so we'll get them in there so they all get toasted. All right, so we'll just top it off with a little more butter here. Just let that marinate. <laughs> Did you guys ever do that thing in school where you had like someone come during like a Thanksgiving parade and like make hand churned butter? No. What? <laughs> that was like a thing in my we first made, grade We class. made high, um, ice cream in third grade, ice fourth cream? grade, fourth grade. We never made ice cream. Uh, we made handmade ice cream. Yeah, but I remember like trying that hand churned butter and it was the most disgusting <laughs> thing I've ever had. Really? All right, to the croutons, you're gonna add a little bit of salt. <laughs> Some black pepper. I don't feel like gonna get it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> what is going on? We got clogged pores. <laughs> and then a little bit of garlic powder. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah. Garlic Yum. Powder. <laughs> and then you're just gonna want to stir that around, get all those in there. See, like this one's tiny. It's getting crispy already, so I feel like you just gotta keep moving it. Oh, it's getting a little too hot over here. That one's a little bit. Uh oh. It's a little bit crisp. Oh, that one's a little bit crisp too. <laughs> They're all pretty crisp. Okay. That's gonna be good in the soup, don't worry. You can have those in your soup. <laughs> <laughs> Does it need more seasoning? Oh no. No? A1. Tonight is Sunday and American Idol is on. And we're missing it, my parents are watching it without us because what time do we start cooking this? Mm, eight like preparing. <laughs> what time do we start preparing? Eight? Eight. <laughs> okay, we started at eight o'clock. It's currently 9.47, so we've been going at it for about two hours almost, and we're not done yet. We have our first round of croutons going, and then we have a whole second round, and then <laughs> we should be ready to start eating. So um, I'm really excited. I'm hungry. We haven't eaten since lunch. Yeah, this isn't like a quick, like. No. This is, a, like, this is like, a... you need to set aside <laughs> hours to do this. But we also chopped up eight pounds of onions, so. Anyway, by the way, in case you're interested in my eye look, <laughs> I reviewed the new Morphe and Saweetie collection. I will link that video down below. That's over on my main channel. Um, but yeah, this is starting to smell so good. I'm so excited. Wow, we're professionals, not really. Not even close. No, it doesn't even look. Okay, so I will say the, the soup looks lighter than the Panera, but honestly, we made this, and I'm not someone to believe in like copycat recipes. Like, I want the original, but I feel like ours was better than Panera, which is like a big statement. What do you think? Well, I've never had the Panera. <gasps> <laughs> what? Yeah, the only soup I've ever had there is like the chicken noodle and the broccoli cheddar. Jarvis, yeah. tomorrow we gotta go to Panera. <laughs> Oh, we can't go to Panera. Oh, well, this is better than the Panera. It stuff. is better, but <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to eat. Here's our first batch of croutons. They're looking good. We've got our cheese mixture. Our soup is looking fabulous. It's coming together. Yeah, and Jarvis is finishing up the second batch of croutons. So things are looking good. 
We'll show you guys our finished bowls. Now we've got Miss Pepper Bean in the kitchen. How are you doing? How are the croutons, Bean? Pepper, can you sit? Sit. Good girl. We've also got Buster. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking so cute. Aww. So are you. <laughs> so do you want soup, then cheese, then croutons? Or should I put the cheese first and then the soup on top? What? No, you're gonna put it in the broiler, aren't you? You're gonna put bread, or sorry, you're gonna put soup, croutons, cheese, throw it in the broiler. Okay. So it gets melty, right? Okay. I think that's how it works. What's okay. that face? <laughs> that's not what I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's get some of this soup in here. Hopefully. <laughs> Good. You want two spoonfuls? That's perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna bring it over here. Some croutons. Yes, please. Ooh. I want a nice layer. A whole layer of them. Yeah. Yeah, just a couple more in those little spots right there. Like right. that. Like that. That's perfect. And then some. And then a layer of cheese. cheese. <laughs> yeah. Pepper. You think that soup's looking good, Pepper? What are you looking for? Huh? Like, yeah. <laughs> Paige is going for a different method here. Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot. What? <laughs> I'm going to put the cheese on first. Oh. So that it, like, melts. All right, so Paige is going for a different method. You want to <laughs> put a couple drops of the soup in. <laughs> How about it go first? So, yeah, cheese on the bottom. Interesting. Cheese. This might be the correct way, honestly. I have no clue, but... Like, I feel like this is how Panera does it. Yeah. Because their cheese is always, like, it's, like, not on top. Well, I think it's because they don't have a broiler, so they don't have a way to melt the cheese. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to come over here, add a few croutons. I don't want any of the burnt ones. <laughs> There's no burnt ones. <laughs> and then just a little sprinkle of cheese on top. And boom. All right, so here is my finished bowl of homemade Panera French onion soup. And then this is Jarvis's. His does look pretty good. That melty cheese looks amazing. Yeah, I just figured if you're gonna go ahead and spend the four hours making this, you might as well spend the extra five minutes and throw it in the boiler. All right, well, let's go ahead and give it a taste test and see how it is. And uh, make sure in the comments you vote whose looks better. Yeah, mine. <laughs> I added more pepper to mine. Mm. Well, or, hold on, don't, oh. you have the advantage here. Okay. Here is my bowl. And this is my bowl here. Oh, I'm sorry. This one looks a little extra <laughs> done here. Maybe we'll just take some. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yours does look better, damn it. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going in for the first bite. Look at that cheese, oh my. Whoa. Okay, whoa. I need to get some soup. Wait, I didn't really get any soup. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's no problem. <laughs> Did you scrape from the bottom? No. It's <laughs> the soup. Just go for it. That is good. Mm. Yeah, I think we waited too long and the bread sucked it up a little bit. Yeah, we were trying to get some cool shots. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish eating our soup. It is currently 10, 17 p.m., so. There's a midnight snack for yeah, dinner. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But I feel like it's pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. I just personally wouldn't have added the time. But it's still real good, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was different. I've never done something <laughs> like this before, but I feel like it was really fun. Yeah, if you want us to cook something else, let, let us, us know. know. Or if you have any tips on how to make red onion yeah, soup, I don't know what the hell I know, doing. we probably, like, I wouldn't necessarily say to take uh, tips from us. It's <laughs> just our process. Yeah, but um, hopefully it was entertaining for you guys. So um, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Also, leave us a comment down below. 
We love you guys so much. Um, goodbye. Good night. <laughs> I don't know how to end it. Bye. Have a good one. Bye.